My presentation today is about women and obesity, what lies beneath. And when we go back to uh, 1905, obesity was seen as uh, a figure of beauty. يعني كان المنظر اللي هو فيه جمال هو الناس اللي عندها overweight and obesity. While in 2015, 110 سنة بعدها ابتدت WHO تقول إن there is 2.3 billion adults are having overweight and at least 700 million adults were obese and the majority of these 700 million are females. This is a percentage of obesity and overweight in different uh, countries in the region. And we can find here the percentage in different countries. And when we come to Egypt, we um, find that there is 33% of females are having overweight and 46% of the females are obese. Uh, this is another study in 36 countries in the region in women uh, age 20 to 49. These countries are developing countries. And in this study, Egypt has the uh, lowest percentage of uh, low, low weight or uh, underweight uh, beyond these uh, females and the highest percentage of overweight and obesity. All the percentage uh, underweight uh, in um, in Egypt, actor percentage of overweight mawuda bado in Egypt. Fell study al tamalat ala thirty six developing countries in the region. Obesogenic uh, environment is very special for females due to urbanization, sedentary lifestyle, private cars, television. Um, less physical activity and more help in the house with uh, appliances. Uh, there is high caloric and fat intake. Women are more likely to be overweight due to uh, cultural um, effects. And when we come to lifestyle of Egyptians, we can find that the percentage who eat five or more servings of fruits and vegetables uh, among females is 20%. And those who do uh, physical activity, uh, regular physical activity in females are less than 57% uh, of the females. And um, they don't do uh, even the lowest level of activity. These are the complications of obesity, the clear and the present danger. Obesity can lead to cardiovascular disease, coronary artery disease, angina, myocardial infarction, heart failure, arrhythmia, and sudden death, and hypertension. And for every 10% increase in body weight, there is increased six millimeter mercury in the average blood pressure. And decreasing body weight lead to decreased blood pressure. Uh, deep venous thrombosis, uh, respiratory complications in the form of sleep apnea, which is uh, a serious complication of obesity and impaired respiratory functions and Pequican syndrome. And Pequican syndrome is a special character in one of the uh, Charles Dickens, the famous writer, Charles Dickens um, uh, novels, Kitab, uh, Charles Dickens. He طلع في character the Pequican, Mr. Pequican, who is a person obese, has abdominal obesity, and has respiratory distress, and can be, يعني be named who is a person, and that was the character of Charles Dickens. The other thing that is present here is the case of sleep apnea, and sleep apnea can be dangerous, and sleep apnea can be um, uh, reversed uh, with uh, treatment of obesity. Uh, another group of complications of obesity, hepatobiliary uh, disease, fatty liver, uh, 
uh, non-alcoholic uh, steatohepatitis or uh, the new term muffled, uh, calcular cholecystitis, arthritis, especially of the weight-bearing joints like the knees and pelvis, cancers in the form of uh, breast cancer, colonic, prostate, uterus, ovarian, uh, diabetes mellitus, 80% of diabetics, especially type 2, uh, are obese. Hyperlipidemia, especially hypertriglyridemia, infertility, abortions, birth defects in obese women above uh, 30 body mass index. There's increased mortality uh, above uh, 30 body mass index due to different uh, reasons. This is a relation between body mass index and some chronic diseases in males and females. And we can find that uh, type 2 diabetes, cholelysis, uh, hypertension, and coronary artery disease is increased in both males and females. And especially diabetes, uh, we can find that diabetes is the most important comorbidity with uh, obesity. Um, this is also uh, showing the relationship between body mass index and the risk of type 2 diabetes. And we can find that females uh, with body mass index above 35 are 93 times, uh, having 93 times increased incidence of uh, type 2 diabetes when compared to females with body mass index less than 22. Obesity is linked to nine types of cancers. Some of them are uh, for uh, females and some are for both females uh, and males or even for males only. Uh, breast cancer, colonic cancer, uterine cancer, gallbladder, uh, ovarian, prostate, upper GIT, pancreas, renal cell carcinoma. This are some other uh, types of complications in obesity, which are the physical complications and the social complications. And the physical complications include tiredness, breathlessness, varicose veins, headache, edema and cellulitis, sweating, intertigo, stress incontinence. And the social complications uh, include a sense of isolation, unemployment, uh, family or marital uh, stresses and um, problems, financial problems, and depression. Uh, we come now to a certain type of obesity, which is abdominal obesity. What is the relation of abdominal obesity and cardiometabolic risk? And um, this was shown in the HOPE study that abdominal obesity increased the risk of cardiovascular events. Another uh, trial here, the Paris Prospective Study, uh, predicting adverse outcomes such as sudden death in patients with abdominal obesity and abdominal diameter is a better predictor of risk of sudden death than BMI. This was shown in the Paris Prospective Study. This uh, young lady, uh, nice and slim lady before marriage, and we can see um, our culture in our culture 10 years after marriage, uh, most of the females are uh, becoming obese. There is twin epidemic of obesity and type 2 diabetes, and uh, it is on the rise. Yani, في كل ما بيزيد the epidemic of obesity, كل ما بيزيد the epidemic of type two diabetes. We عندنا أرقام الحقيقة خطيرة جدا from 1986 to 2000, the prevalence of BMI 30 is doubled. مرتين. Body mass index above 40 quadrupled. يعني زادت أربع مرات ال incidence of BMI أكثر من أربعين. Extreme obesity of body mass index more than 50 uh, is increased five folds خمس مرات. This is alarming. Increasing prevalence of obesity among children suggesting that the epidemic will worsen. يعني كل ما إحنا شايفين إن إحنا أطفالنا أوبيس كل ما إحنا عارفين إن the future هيبقى um, uh, more obesity, more complication. Uh, in morbid obese population, 
the life expectancy is reduced nine years in females and 12 years in males. Uh, women and obesity is more uh, than an issue of size. يعني مش مجرد شكل ومش مجرد إن بنوتة عايزة مثلا تلبس حاجة على مزاجها. We need to change the priority physicians give to obese women. يعني لازم نقول إن obesity ده is a chronic disease and it has serious complications according to uh, the definition of different um, associations. يعني WHO, European associations, American associations كلها بتقول إن obesity is a chronic disease and should be managed because it leads to uh, several complications. It's more than uh, an issue of size. There is greater health consequences, greater physiological or uh, psychological consequences, uh, and there is specific female issues like uh, fertility problems, polycystic ovary syndrome, um, pregnancy complication, influence on fetal development, complications related to menopause and female cancers. It is a lifestyle of medical risk in females, starting with um, uh, infancy, uh, then uh, adulthood, uh, uh, adolescence, adulthood, uh, young adults, uh, female uh, reproductive period, uh, older females, and geriatric females. Uh, in adolescence, uh, coming to adulthood, obesity may reflect psychological uh, problems and reproductive problems. Uh, I'm going to talk about fertility and assisted reproduction. Fertility with assisted reproduction in case of infertility, uh, it is uh, less successful in the presence of uh, obesity and the probability of pregnancy with assisted reproduction is uh, reduced uh, in case of uh, pregnancy, at least 50% reduction in uh, the chance to, of these females to get pregnant. Uh, body mass index also uh, predict infertility uh, in uh, cases of polycystic ovary, uh, with or without polycystic ovary, the presence of uh, infertility is increased with the increase of body mass index. Um, during pregnancy, there is certain complications in early pregnancy. There may be miscarriage and twinning due to obesity, and there is technical complications uh, due to difficult ultrasound. Antenatal complications, pregnancy-induced hypertension, preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, and venous thromboembolism, intrapartum, a higher rate of uh, induction of labor, planned and acute cesarean section, assisted delivery and vaginal tears, uh, postpartum hemorrhage infection, uh, venous thromboembolism are increased in the presence of uh, obesity. Uh, operative complication, higher rate of cesarean section, infection, bleeding, thrombosis, uh, and anesthesia complication. Fetal complications, macrosomia, congenital anomalies, fetal distress, perinatal mor morbidity and mortality, and birth injury. Uh, gestational diabetes, it occurs in 4% uh, of all pregnancies, and especially in overweight uh, women um, are having 17% risk of gestational diabetes, uh, and the risk uh, estimate for type 2 diabetes after gestational diabetes range from 17 to 63 per, uh, percent uh, over 5 to 16 years. There is the uh, intergeneration effect of uterine development from um, during pregnancy metabolic effects to uh, the effect of uh, pregnancy on offsprings of um, obese uh, females. 
In mature and aging women, there is increased risk of obesity-related comorbidities with aging, like type 2 diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, and increased risk of all types of cancers, especially uterine cancer, kidney cancer, breast cancer, and cervical cancer. Uh, this is obesity associated increased risk of most cancers and we can find in females that uterine cancer is increased six times in uh, obese females and cancer cervix increased three times in obese females and cancer breast increased uh, two times uh, in case of obese females. Um, obesity uh, in older women there is increased risk of cognitive dysfunction and dementia with aging with negative implication on life expectancy. There is increased risk of Alzheimer's disease in elderly females with metabolic syndrome. This was not shown in males with metabolic syndrome. Obesity is an independent risk factor for Alzheimer's disease, and it is associated with increased risk for dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Then we come to the end with this um, a figure showing different complications in females with obesity. Uh, in uh, reproduction, there's effect on reproductive uh, health in adulthood. Uh, psychological um, uh, problems, uh, chronic disease for mature and aging women, um, the possibility of increased risk of cancers, uh, cardiovascular disease, and in elderly women, uh, decreased life expectancy and cognition uh, disorders. هناك دائما أمل يعني إحنا لما نشوف يعني الممثلة الشهيرة جي يعني during obesity and after treatment of obesity بيبقى دائما عندنا أمل إن إحنا نقدر نوصل لوزن كويس وبرضو عندنا الصورة دي برضو لأحدى الفنانات before and after obesity treatment. And there are many um, uh, modalities to treat obesity and uh, maybe there is short of time. I'm not going to talk about them today, but I'm going to thank you.